This is a story about beauty gurus. It's about the makeup and the clothes we wear, the people who make the products, the promotions and the impact it's having on our world. It's a story about greed and power. It's complex as it extends all around the world. I came into the story buying excessive amounts of products and clothes that I didn't need when I was 18. What I've discovered has changed the way I consume and watch beauty gurus. It might just do the same for you. For the past 12 months, I have been obsessed, consumed with the environmental impact of the online beauty industry. I used to love everything about makeup. I loved the texture, the way it felt on my skin, how it made me feel sexy. It was my chosen skin. Those at the top of the value chain get to choose what's in. And a lot of these beauty and lifestyle gurus like to promote all these haul videos and none of them know where their products are being made or if the people who are making those products are in safe conditions. You have to ask yourself at some point, where does this all end? There's nothing intrinsically wrong with sponsored products. However, there is something wrong with excessive promotion of sponsored products, especially those of which that are not niche related. And this is being shoved so far down our throats that we believe because our influencer has it and tells us we need to have it, that we must have it in order to make our lives more amazing. It is such a fast paced environment. If you go and do your own homework and look up any famous influencer's Instagram, you'll see that every five posts or even every post, there will be a product of some sort being advertised to you. It can be a very dirty industry. It's almost like a fake social conscience has come into the forefront. Influencers definitely underestimate their power and we see it on a daily basis. Not only is the consumer being affected bankwise through brainwashing, but also who are the people behind the manufacturing of the clothing or products? The thing that gets me is what they're actually promoting, especially when it comes to fast fashion haul videos. It's a cycle. It's a fast fashion cycle. Now, I know there's all these dramas constantly coming out about beauty gurus. I think beauty gurus have been heading down slightly the wrong path for quite some time. And when someone does something dumb, someone else is usually held to blame. Then at some point, influencer marketing got abused and bent beyond repair for some beauty influencers. And if you look at the comments section on these corrupt beauty influencers, you'll see that the world is trying to act an expert at making everything fair. And it just seems like such a waste of time. This market is real oversaturated. And until we can look at the foundation of how the beauty guru world operates, it's plain and simple. We are getting scammed. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Them bricks is way too high, you need to cut it. Your price is way too high, you need to cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it.